Steve Botchinger is the Chief Operating Officer at Ural Consult. That's an international consulting firm that specializes in satellites, communications, and digital broadcasting, kind of like us. He joins us live from Montreal. Good to see you, Steve. Uh, welcome to the show. L let me just frame this for our audience. Good why should you. the average person, you, I, our buddies, why should we care about space exploration at all? Space exploration has been, you know, a, a main driver for, for human spirit as exploration was in the, uh, in the uh, ancient times. So I guess it's in the spirit and uh, in the vein of, of, of human being. You know, uh, as, as it was said in your, in your uh, show in the, uh, uh, just earlier, I think it's, uh, it's important as well that it uh, matches uh, policy objectives and the economic uh, reality. So, and that's what uh, NASA is facing right now, actually. So the U.S. has an interesting situation because you heard me earlier talk about the mm -hmm. budget. We basically give very little money to yes. NASA. We don't have much of a mandate. Maybe they'll get to Mars. But there's this space station situation that's very interesting. We're not sending, we as in the U.S., people up anymore, at least not to the moon or even to, we can't even send them to the space station right now. Yeah, the, well, the, the situation is, is with uh, the retirement of the space shuttle, now the U.S. is depending on the agreement with Russia to send its astronaut to uh, the space station. So that's a temporary situation until 2018. Uh, NASA is working uh, with the private sector. Uh, we may discuss that afterwards on an innova innovative uh, scheme to have uh, private sector uh, outsourcing uh, the uh, uh, the uh, transportation to the space station, both for astronauts and cargo, and that should be uh, hopefully a reality. That's already a reality for cargo and for crew and astronauts, hopefully in the by, by, by the end of the decade. But uh, that's for sure. For the moment, uh, uh, the U.S. is relying on, on Russia, who is currently the only uh, really operational crew transportation uh, to the space station uh, right now. Now there are some private firms, with the help of the government, that are also developing ways to get people up into the sky. Uh, I'm speaking specifically about Elon Musk of SpaceX. Mm -hmm. um, is, is this yes. a realistic mm -hmm. solution? I mean, they're going to send these spacecraft, they're going to go up, you can get onto the space station, get off, and you're going to come back down almost like half tourists, half research. Yeah, it's not really half tourist. I will say it's, it's really pragmatic. I think what is interesting in a period of economic uh, uh, downturn or tough economic condition is that you have to think out of the box. Uh, and uh, at the end, maybe the situation that NASA is facing uh, forces the, the, the agency to find innovative scheme and a new way of uh, 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 achieving uh, something which is more operationally achievable through the private sector. And that's what uh, a company like SpaceX, uh, Sierra Nevada, uh, Boeing and others try to achieve with NASA to, is to find a more efficient way to send astronauts to the uh, space station while NASA on its own can uh, dedicate its funding to more complex uh, uh, and more costly uh, 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 objectives such as uh, deep space exploration. Uh, I think that that may be actually a good, uh, a good solution and, uh, and that's uh, what they're trying to achieve. You gave me an interesting statistic earlier when we were speaking on the phone. Three countries have sent mm -hmm. humans, not monkeys, into space. Sixty countries send up satellites and gadgets into the sky. Yes. But these movies, a lot of them talk yeah, about it's, things it's, falling it's, from the sky. I mean, are, should we be worried about things coming down from space? I mean, is that, should we be spending money on whatever is going to come out of the sky? Yeah. There's uh, more than falling uh, on, on Earth what is uh, really of uh, more and more concern from, for the industry, b both on the private sector side and the government, is debris and, and collision in, in orbit. And there's a lot of uh, activities right now uh, going on to find a way to, uh, to secure the, uh, the, uh, uh, the space uh, orbits uh, so that there's no uh, damages to, uh, to satellites, basically. A little what uh, you can see on, on, in, in gravity in the movie. But but uh, I would say today we're not that, that, that bad in the situation, hopefully. Uh, but uh, the private sector and governments take that very seriously. And as was said earlier, at the end, it's not one country taking the lead. It has to be an international effort. And what th that is currently what's going on with having a true international effort to find uh, a way to secure uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the orbit and, and assets and, and, and satellites that, brought, that right. bring valuable uh, 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 services to uh, 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 to the population down, down the earth. Yeah, Steve, uh, fascinating conversation. It's great to have you uh, again, Euro Consult. Thank you very much for joining us.